Dean McDermott wants to divorce Tory Spelling as soon as he can afford it, despite having removed his proclamation, the family has been in a difficult situation ever since leaving their contaminated house this spring, following years of medical enigmas. Furthermore, it emphasizes how distinct Tori's adult life is from her youth, even by Hollywood standards, the huge estate where she grew up was enormous. She is currently residing in a motel with her children, according to the Daily Mail. Witnesses reportedly saw Tori Spelling leaving a motel over the weekend. The hotel levies a $100 nightly fee, along with her five kids, she was there. The six of them appear to be living there together. It also makes me think about how different Tori's childhood was from her children's. Television executive Aaron Spelling was Tori's father. A mansion amid mansions, his house was. It is where Tori was raised. That house cost $165 million, and it was located in Holmby Hills, a posh area. Currently, she and her children are residing at a motel. In general, we anticipate that children will live better than their parents. This is obviously not the case for millennials as a whole generation due to the consequences of Reagan-era policies and several related economic issues. Tori is a performer. She has been well-known for many years. How did she get into this situation? Tori's father died away in 2006. Yet she was not suddenly a multimillionaire. The majority of the approximately $600 million estate went to her mother. Tori left with almost $800,000. Candy still has authority over the money from the spelling fortune, while Tori only took home approximately 0.13% of it. Candy is definitely on Team Tori in her divorce from Dean, by the way. She has said that she will support Tory through the divorce, possibly even financially. However, the general consensus is that she is unwilling to either directly give Tory money or just support some aspects of her lifestyle by paying for some significant costs without directly giving her any money. Duh. Why? Because it was found to be so thoroughly covered in mold that it constituted a real health risk. Look no further than Tory and her family's months of unidentified hospitalizations for evidence. Those are mold, people. When relaying the information on the mold problem, Tori made a special mention of renter's insurance. She had been renting the home with Dean, this indicated that cleaning was not their responsibility. Additionally, they learned that their insurance covered temporary accommodation while they looked for new housing. It appears that Tori and her children's stay at the motel was either initially covered by renter's insurance or is still now covered by that policy. The conditions of Tory's insurance are unknown to us because, you know, it is personal financial information.